My name is Martin Zomanis, and in this video I will shortly summarize my doctoral research on 100% hot mix asphalt recycling at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Old pavements consist of aggregates and asphalt binder. New pavements are made of aggregates and asphalt binder. So why not fully recycle the existing roads? Asphalt is 100% reusable, but currently new pavements by average contain only 20% of reclaimed material. The rest is degraded for use in lower value applications. The principle is very simple. Mill the existing pavement, bring it to plan for processing, perform mixed design in laboratory, and produce new pavement using one of the readily available 100% recycling plants. This is a plant by RAP Technologies, routinely producing 100% RAP mixtures in New York City. Here is a drum designed by Hair System in the Netherlands. Alexin manufacturing plant is located in California. This is a wrap master plant by wrap process machinery. Four batch asphalt plant type Emac in Turkey and Ammon in Switzerland have developed unique drying systems. And there are at least five more technologies that allow production of 100% recycled asphalt. Paving of such mixtures can be done using conventional equipment and demonstration sites have been placed at multiple locations. We inspected several of the sites in New York City that have served for between 5 and 10 years and noticed no difference in performance for 100% recycled mixtures compared to control virgin sections located next to them. How much does this cost? Well, as you can see the binder price has increased more than 3 times during the previous 10 years, so now more than ever recycling makes economic sense. The calculation of material related expenses shows that 100% recycling, even when including all the added expenses, reduces the total cost by 50 to 70 percent. And this is a win-win situation. Cradle-to-gate analysis shows that while saving money, we are also cutting emissions by about 35 percent compared to virgin mixture. So what is preventing us from adapting 100 percent recycling into everyday use? Well, we think it is the lack of confidence in the production plants, unestablished mix design and unproven performance of the pavements. In my doctoral research, I tried to address these concerns. Recycling above 50% is not possible without the application of rejuvenators. These are products that are aimed at restoring the rheology and chemical components of aged binder. So we started the research in 2011 with a study to screen multiple rejuvenators by evaluating their potential to soften the aged wrap binder. Based on changes in binder viscosity and low temperature tests of 100% recycled mixture, we concluded that softening efficiency can be the first measure to evaluate rejuvenators. After we saw that the concept of 100% recycling works, we wanted to go further and perform a thorough investigation of asphalt binder and 100% recycled mixture using performance-related test methods. The study demonstrated that at 12% dosage, rejuvenators provided the required rotting resistance, and most of the six tested products significantly improved low temperature and fatigue cracking resistance of both mixture and binder. Workability was improved compared to wrap, but remained lower than that of virgin mixture. Some rejuvenators slightly reduced moisture and binder aging resistance. Generally, at the 12% dosage, organic products outperformed the petroleum additives in most of the tested properties. At the same time, we were guessing that optimization of rejuvenator dose could improve the performance in most cases. But how to choose the dose without carrying out extensive testing each time when the source or age of milled asphalt changes? We tackled the problem by testing performance grade of wrap binder after addition of six rejuvenators at two dosages each. We saw that the SuperPay performance grade temperature decreases linearly with increased dose, and optimization allows restoring of the original binder grade. To provide full use of this knowledge, we developed a methodology for optimization of rejuvenator dose to account for the inevitable variability in wrap stockpile. And finally, we proposed a mixed design methodology for 100% recycling, including choice of materials, optimization of binder content, and choice of rejuvenator type and dose to ensure correspondence to the required volumetric and performance-related specifications. In order to make sure that we're not just softening the binder, but in fact restoring morphological and micromechanical properties of the aged binder, we characterized the virgin, aged, and rejuvenated binders using atomic force microscope. We also tested the rheological performance of the binder and saw that the results are in line of what we would expect from the changes in chemical composition of the binders. One more thing that we saw from the complete characterization study was that the rate of rejuvenated diffusion is likely one of the factors affecting the mixture performance 
And since there is no industry recognized method to test this, we address the problem by developing a finite element model of rejuvenator diffusion into the wrap binder film. The model was able to calculate the diffusion speed as a function of time, temperature, viscosity, and molecular weight, but we saw that further refining of the algorithm is necessary. I would like to truly thank everyone who helped me with the research. This was a grand collaborative effort which has luckily resulted in a doctorate degree for me. I can assure all of you that I was absolutely focused on work during the three years spent at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Thank you for your attention. You'll find links to the journal articles in the comments section below the video. I have also created a website summarizing the research and don't hesitate to contact me with any relevant questions through my email.